video girl forced to walk naked in NYC, but she just got the last laugh on her abuser. A shocking video went viral last year after a purported cheating girlfriend was forced to walk around the streets of New York City naked as punishment. However, it seems there was a bit more to this clip than meets the eye, and the victimized woman just got the last laugh on her abuser. It all started when a Jason Mello found out that his girlfriend had been sending pictures to seven other men. Wanting to do something about it, he forced the woman out of his house while she was wearing just a towel. Unfortunately, things would only get worse from there as the man would eventually expose his true intentions, and they were downright humiliating. Take off your towel, he could be heard saying in the two-minute video. Cooperate BH. Show what you are so pretty and so great. She's a tart. Let's go. Let's go. Say hi to the camera and say why you're doing this. At that point, viewers watch in shock as the man then grabbed the woman's towel and stripped it from her body. Still recording, he left the woman completely naked in the streets of New York City and even ensured that she couldn't get the towel back in order to cover up. Of course, no one is really fond of cheaters meaning that not too many people felt bad for her, but it seems that this video may have gone viral for all the wrong reasons. You see, what viewers didn't witness is what happened leading up to the clip, and it's officially left a jury absolutely horrified. But, before we get to that, have a look at what this woman was put through. Jason Mello did, in fact, find explicit text messages and pictures exchanged between his girlfriend and other men on her phone but rather than handle his emotions like an adult, he snapped. Come to find out, the abuser both verbally and physically abused the woman for several hours leading up to the video. He grabbed my neck, and forced it really hard. I was losing breath, the 25-year-old testified. The woman, whose name has been withheld said Jason Mello tortured her for two hours before he pushed her out into the cold and pulled out his cell phone to record her. Source mail online. He was saying many things, like I'm a whore, I could kill you right now, I'm capable of anything, the woman told the court. He said, you know what, you're gonna pay. You're gonna get naked and you're gonna go out on the street, and you're gonna pay. Too bad for Mello, it seems that he was in for a bit more than he bargained after his revenge went viral. He only thought people would judge him for what the video depicted, but now that the truth is out there things aren't going so well. Mello, 26, has been charged with coercion, assault, aggravated harassment, menacing, criminal obstruction of breathing and endangering the welfare of a child and is facing up to seven years in jail if convicted, the Daily Mail reported. Meanwhile, his girlfriend says she's been living in hiding while taking care of her young daughter. Source, BizPack Review. Currently, the trial is underway but it seems that jurors are pretty sympathetic to what happened to the woman after hearing her testimony and seeing the shocking footage. Now, there are a few lessons to be learned here, and the first is to always be honest. If this woman didn't want to be with Mello, she should have said so and broken up with him. However, it's hard to judge everything without knowing all the facts. From the sounds of it, this thug was nothing more than an abuser, and one can only imagine how he would have reacted if this woman did express that she wanted to see other people. That being said, if you find yourself being dumped, the best revenge is just to move on. In the end, honesty is always the best answer, and punks like Mello are the absolute filth of society. Let's just hope every one of his prospective girlfriends in the future knows about what he did to this woman and chooses to stay away. What better justice is there than a life of loneliness? Of course, that's to be spent after he gets out of prison for the crimes he already committed. What a miserable piece of garbage.